بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله as a reminder to myself and you of the importance of striving to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping Allah tabarak wa ta'ala until we meet him, until our death, until our deeds have finished comes one of the athar of the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, an Uthman ibn Affan, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal, dakhaltu ala Umar ibn Abd Khattab, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, heen tu'in, wa ra'aytuhu fi tarab, فذهبتُ أرفعه، فقال دعني، ويل ويل وويل أمي إن لم يغفر لي، ويل وويل وويل الأمي إن لم يغفر لي، الزهد لإمام أحمد. أهبت في لا in this narration. It's a narration on Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala anhu that he said, I entered upon Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu at the time that he was stabbed. And I saw him in the dirt. So I went to lift him up. And he said, leave me. He said, woe to me and woe to my mother if she doesn't forgive me. And woe to me, or woe upon me, and woe upon my mother if she doesn't forgive me. A habit of Allah this shows us how the Salaf, until they died, that they were in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that their objectives and primary objectives were to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and meet Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in a state of Iman, seeking the forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And in this Athar of the Salaf, we see that Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, after being stabbed to death, laying in the dirt, that his concern was that he would not be forgiven by Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala due to the fact of perhaps his mother not being pleased with him. هذا حال السلف الصالح رضوان الله عليهم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد